welcome back everyone to another Detect Zone video. Um, I'm going to be talking about Camtasia Studio 7 which released a few days ago and so far it's much better than Camtasia Studio 6. I have to tell you that and I'm going to tell you why. Well one, now there's the duration timer which was not there since Camtasia Studio 5 which is really handy if you're making long tutorials. But the greatest change you would find is Camtasia Studio's user interface. It's much different uh, and you will need to get along with it. It's getting more professional as it gets released. So as you can see it has a new user interface uh, black style background. Then support a video to begin with it. Let me import my video in there. It's kind of slow. Uh, you will get this new window saying what side you want the video to be. Yeah it's similar but now you have a lot of presets you can choose from, recording dimensions of course, widescreen, standard and other options, uh, especially for iPhone and YouTube also. So I'll select YouTube HD and let's press OK. So let's talk about the new features. So callouts has been greatly, um, well, upgraded let's say, uh, because one, the callouts can be stylized now because now it looks really a lot better right now because I'll tell you why. You can add effects to your callouts. So there are five styles you can choose from this, similar to Microsoft Office. You can see it will give you an idea about it. I'm just going to keep it to the first one because it's kind of like giving a shining effect. Then the fill color, if you put it to red, now that's nice. It reminds me of Crisis for some reason. Okay, let me type something. This is a caption test okay uh, color will be white and I'm already done with the caption now I cannot do fade in because the video is too short but um, it doesn't matter I mean, I mean this new okay let me just reduce the length of the caption let's see if I can fade in oh wait you would you would not really notice it let's just begin let's see See, you did not really exactly notice it. Oh wait, fade in is not even enabled in this one. It's only for like zero seconds. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it started fading in. Okay, so there, there are also some additional captions as well. Don't think those are the only ones. And some special ones, like if you're saying how to tell, type something and you need to say a key, you can add a key, um, button in this and just type the name of what the key is let's type v and there you go it generates like that so it's kind of really cool that the features they have added to this Camtasia Studio 7 and so far it's really great zoom and pan however it's still the same but it's great uh, come on audio not much of a difference but here's something new that you would not really notice Okay, let's just zoom in. Now you, see, you would see this green line, right? Well, if I add an audio point to the beginning of the video, okay, it's right over here. It's like zoom and pan, actually. You can see I can move this up and down on this side, just a little up, on this side, a little bit down. And you see, you see a difference. So it's like the audio is slowly fading out. You can add custom, uh, okay, I'll, I'll just call it like, audio pan tracks and yeah that's something new so let's just remove all the audio points and let's continue transitions it's usual it's stupid okay transitions are nice but the thing is I'm not really sure how to put them at the same time I mean put them together instead I have to wait till the transition is done and then the video starts cursor effects you have to save your video as a camera file it'll store information about your mouse clicks keystrokes that you type in you know, all that sorts of stuff. And you can change what should happen when you click or, you know, those annoying click sounds when some people do when they click that thing. So, uh, I'm not really a fan of that. Then let's see, title clips. You can add a title to your video or at the end or wherever you want. Voice narration to uh, record and add another audio track or replace. Record camera, use a webcam, picture-in-picture. Picture. Now I'll show you how to do picture-in-picture picture for some people who don't know. 
uh, I'm going to go to the track section and I'm going to click PIP track and I'm going to go to import media and let's import another video so let's import this rocket video now I'll drag it into the PIP track and now it'll ask you this so I'm going to click preview the PIP track on top of the video track and I'm going to click OK and now you should see something this is actually the other video uh, if you do not notice and to add a PIP uh, we have to reduce this video size because we do not need it as it's replacing the other video so I'll go to more uh, PIP uh, options modify the selected PIP and then uh, over here at the video preview you you can resize it so let me just pull it down to up to there and there you go you can even add drop shadows you can uh, fade the PIP uh, video track you can even add a border and uh, yeah that's about it for PIP but I'm not really gonna use PIP because this is just a tutorial and then what else captions quizzing you can add a quiz to your video but I'm not sure if that works on YouTube captions I'm sure you know what that is and they say that uh, let me just see how long is it six minutes okay so they say that uh, when recording on uh, well 3d programs or some sort of stuff like that it's actually faster when you're gonna record on 3d because they have improved it for it to record on uh, high performance like 3d okay what I'm trying to say is uh, they say it's now faster to record 3d objects as you know for me I have a crappy graphics card it's integrated and recording in Camtasia Studio 6 is horrible now they say uh, recording 3d is much better so I hope recording 3d on my PC is much better so let me just test my game yeah I'm remaking the game the first level is just not planned right okay hey the game is smooth from here it's really smooth and I just hope it's smooth in the video okay let's continue with that and the best part is the YouTube upload feature yes you can upload your video directly to YouTube how do you do it you are going to uh, wait you go to produce and share open the drop down menu and click on share to YouTube now this is what I really like what you do is you log in of course so I'm just gonna log in whoops didn't type it right so I'm gonna click next you can even click remember me if you want and once you log in type everything you need to know and then it will just automatically upload and you're done easy as that so that's about it hope you enjoyed the video I, su I surely suggest you ow I just cut my finger I suggest that you get Camtasia Studio 7 instead of Camtasia Studio 6 I suggest you upgrade now I'm not I'm not gonna tell you how to get it for free okay so thanks for watching uh, if you did once if you enjoyed it why don't you subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day